Hey there Capcom community, welcome to yet another Dragon's Dogma Pawn video. As promised, we've got two for February, this is your second one, and for this quest, we're going cult hunting. I wanted to show you this quest because it's not like what most people assume Dragon's Dogma to be, which is hunting down massive monsters. This shows more of the uh, the intrigue and, and other horrors you might face. First things first though, we got to track down this cult, but thankfully you can do it all in Grand Soren because it seems that everyone everywhere is tied into this cult and is more than willing to talk about it. She knows about the cult, and then he knows about the cult and they'll quite happily sing away to where the secret meeting's taken place. Of course, this means uh, a new quest, of course, means new pawns. So let's get rid of the old team and it's time to bring in some new guys. A quick stop at the pawn guild, and here we go. A real motley crew to choose from on PSN this month. These are all people that I've added in the last couple of days. Okay, first up we've got Telperion, I hope I'm saying that right. Telperion? Telperion? All I know is that you look cool. When I first saw this character, he was actually um, a wizard class, but you seem to have re-rolled your skills, which is cool. Um, obviously, I was drawn to this character not only by the eye patch, but that he's quite short for a pawn. I don't know whether his real life arisen is a little bit on the short side, but hey, that's cool. There's room for diversity in my crew. So, obviously, I'm a magic ranger class. He's a ranger class, and Sir Gort's my pawn is a wizard, so to balance it out we're going to need a tank. Cal here is a strapping tank, so tough in fact that uh, her level's not even given to me, so I'm going to assume that she's pretty tough. Another thing I wanted to point out is, as I left Grand Soren, uh, I bumped into um, a random pawn, which is created by a, a player that I don't even know. This is another feature of Dragon's Dogma. Um, if you've not got enough players... If you don't have enough people on your friends list with the game, other pawns from other people's games will still populate your game and you can stop and hire them any time that you want. Okay, just a short walk away from Grand Soren is the crypt where we're heading to investigate this cult, but first there's always time for a bit of grave robbing, which is pretty much the precedent for this whole quest. And over there in the corner is a very nosy goblin, and I've got no time for nosy goblins, so he's going to get an arrow in the face for daring to peek over a rock at us. Now, of course, I'm still quite poor at this point, being only around level 25, so I'm going to take any excuse to loot that I can, even if it's from looting from the dead, because they don't need it anymore, and I do. But oh no, bust open a coffin and what's inside? It's a zombie. Not that that seems to matter to Cal, who just baseball batted it out of the way. But yeah, one of the reasons I really like this quest is it's full of the undead, which is something a little different. So... I'm going to light up our way with some magic arrows. When I first played through this quest as a warrior class, it was a lot darker. Um, but now that I have magic arrows, why suffer in the dark? Especially when you get to enjoy watching these uh, pawns throw explosive barrels over zombies. As you can see there, the, the zombies in Dragon's Dogma are quite creepy. They're not the usual moaning and groaning type. The uh, they seem to be confused as to why they're alive again, and they often lament their past actions. But that's not going to stop me for an instant putting an arrow through them. And here I get a little cocky. Already I'm wise to these, uh, the zombie plans here of uh, filling up with gas and exploding, so I'm going to use this fortuitous excuse of them being locked behind a gate to just stick them full of arrows, because, hey, payback's funny. Boom bits of zombie everywhere. But that gate is locked, but down here, yet another new enemy type, an actual ghost. Now again, playing as a warrior, ghost busting was quite hard, but now I'm playing as a magic archer, turns out that magic arrows can hurt ghosts, so I'm going to have a much more easier time. I'm someone who quite regularly mocks wizards, but had I not taken a wizard on this, uh, this quest, I would have been in a world of hurt. And there's my powerful tank being possessed, but thankfully I can just magic arrow that ghost out of the system. Even poor Sir Gortz gets a rough time with the ghosts. But busting makes me feel good. Oh, 
Okay, so this serves as uh, how I know my pawns are a little too overpowered for this quest. Here I am, busy mining away, when uh, they discover uh, an ogre in front of me. I make the schoolboy error of uh, trying to explode the barrels in front of this ogre and uh, get knocked on my backside because of it. So, look and learn, kids. Look and learn. Like, what am I supposed to do to that? They've already covered his head in arrows. Right, well, well the ogre's dead. Time to drop into uh, Darth Sidious' conference. There he is. Good arisen. Join the dark side of the force. Here he is. I won't give away too many plot points, but yeah, this guy, uh, this guy seems to have a real vendetta against you. Just because you're the Arisen. And here he's going to turn all of his loyal followers into zombies, just to lure you into a trap. Good, good. Uh, it wouldn't be a Capcom game without zombies now, would it? Well, sorry buddy, you reap what you sow. Shouldn't have joined the bad guys. Should have joined my team. Now, again, normally, this would have been quite a tough fight, but I've got two supercharged pawns with me, so I'm just going to cleave through the undead here. It's going to be no problem whatsoever. In fact, by the time I've lit up this room so we can see what we're doing, most of these zombies are going to be... I was going to say dead, but... Dead again? But yeah, let that be a lesson to you kids. Don't mess around with dark magic. Unless you're an Arisen, and then it's cool. And so, as the uh, Emperor from Star Wars flees... Marcus, the guy who gave you the quest, is waiting on the other side of the door, and it looks like he's caught one of the cultists. So you're faced with a very difficult decision. To prove yourself to Marcus, he wants you to, uh, shank him. So are you going to prove your worth to Marcus and execute the cultist? Or are you just going to be the bigger man and walk away? That's a decision up to you, dear Arisen. I'm not going to show you which one I picked. And that's part one of the quest done, but no sooner have you returned to Grand Soren than they tell you that skeletons are wandering the countryside. Ain't nobody got time for that. Looks like you're going to be heading back to the crypts, but first, you've got to find more cultists meeting in Grand Soren, and that can only be done at night. So, it's back to the inn I go to rest for the evening. Now, when I checked in at the inn, something very cool indeed happened. It turns out that a few of you have been using Sir Gortz, and not only... Have you been using him? You pimped my pawn with some of the sweetest gear available on Dragon's Dogma, so thank you very much everyone for that. That was a lovely surprise. Alright, now the time has come to get the shakedown on some cultists meeting in the middle of night in Grand Sorin. Blah blah blah, secret plan, blah blah blah, cult. Okay, cue Batman style interruption to the shady meeting. Surprise, fellas! Uh, don't punch my cultist face, I'll tell you where the cult's hiding. We already know where the cult's hiding. Yeah, it's pretty much back in the crypt again. You can either beat this out of him or you can pay him, but uh, now that Sir Gortz is all pimped up, I'm just going to uh, use my money to pay my way to find out this location. Back for some sweet grey robbing. And one of the uh, the puzzles of um, Dragon's Dogma, more of a fetch quest really, in order to open the uh, the door that the cult leader is hiding behind, you're going to have to collect a few orbs, which means you pretty much have to grave rob, and that's the excuse that I'm sticking to. Great team of pawns though, absolutely unstoppable with these community pawns with me. It's made this quest so much easier. And now all it's left to do is gather up the remaining jewels to open the door, and it's time to confront the big bad guy once again. Or rather, his acolyte. This guy completely off his rocker. His plan is to turn me, the Arisen, into a, a skeleton that's going to go around pillaging the countryside. I ain't standing for that, nor are my pawns. So this is going to get real ugly real quickly. Of course he's going to try and use some of his dark magic on me. It's not going to work. I don't care how many zombies or skeletons you summon, I'm still going to cut you down. Some of my sweet advanced combat moves there, just cutting through those skeletons like a knife through butter. Or buttery bones. 
And that's the job done. All that's left to do is some last minute looting and then we're going to ferry stone back to Grand Sorin to report how awesome we are. You tell him, tell. That will be the end of these skeleton problems. I love that little guy. I think it's the eye patch that does it. Alright, we're safely back in Grand Sorin and we're safe in the sunshine. No more zombies or skeletons to get us this time. Thanks once again for the use of your pawns. If you want your pawns used in future community vids, just uh, leave your ID and their name below and uh, hopefully they'll get a chance to appear in these videos, much like these two pawns. Big thanks to Cal and big thanks to... I'm just going to call you Tell just to be on the safe side because there's nothing worse than having your name mispronounced. So Cal and Tell great pawns, just kicked a whole load of undead ass and made uh, my life very easy indeed. So thanks for that and thanks for watching. I will see you next time for another community pawn video. See you later.